is that? Oh, it's warm. I love these like little family owned um, mm -hmm. veggie shops. Mm -hmm. Usually just stop in here and pick up some veggies. Little shops are the ones you want to support when you go to Morocco because you get a little bit of everything and it's super inexpensive, super affordable. Why would you want to like support the big corporations when you can support small local family owned businesses? They're so friendly and nice. One of the issues we had a lot in Europe was that we would over buy groceries and that because it was just two of us, even if you get like a pack of chicken, there's still going to be leftovers and a lot of it was wasted. So like the thing we love about Morocco is that like you can buy the portions that you want. Easy. Small portions. You don't have to waste the food. I really like where we are. We are we're currently in Mohammed Mohammedia. I think it's pronounced Mohammedia. And I really like it. It's it's like outside of the big city hustle and bustle. We're back at the van. I think we're gonna do a little barbecue. So I've got a little bit of rice going. We bought this seasoned chicken yesterday. It's just the box sticks today. Um, we picked up an avocado, some lettuce. This lettuce is literally like fresh out the ground. It's the best. I got these two peppers because, I don't know, something tells me that they're spicy. And I'm not supposed to be eating spicy. I laid it all out. Some grapes, plums, a mango, kiwis, avocado, lettuce, stringy. We only paid a couple of euros for all of that, so it's pretty awesome. other kitty huh you want to take me to your other kitty I actually had them here last night and I was feeding them and I left food out for them this morning I woke up and the chickens ate all the rest of the food so gotta love chickens not really oh I love this bird so much honestly there's another type of bread that we keep seeing in Morocco wait, wait, wait. I don't know what this one is called but this one's the good one this one's the best one but there's one that's more good. popular Overcook the string beans. <laughs> Holy shit, it's so hot. <gasps> Today is gonna be so hot because I haven't even gotten out of bed yet and I can feel how hot it is in this van. Like, this is enough For a change of events, Nico's cooking for me. You don't think that's hot? New neighbors today. There's so many people from Germany in this campground. Yeah. How many nights have we been here? I feel like a, we could stay here all day, all week. Mm. We've stayed at this campground three nights and we're going on four nights. That's pretty crazy because we get bored easily. So we don't stay in the same area. Time, yeah, we don't stay in the same area for a long time, which um, I mean, we also learned our lesson with that because we were spending so much money on gas moving fast. So 
so we've kind of like slowed down. We definitely feel the difference in slowing down. I mean, we're also in like a way more affordable country, but no, the slower you move, you save so much money because the way we were burning through it, like it was just falling off trees. And yeah, now we're like, to Europe. That's the next now thing. I have a peace of mind. Like, okay, I'm not burning through my savings account. I mean, I still am, but not as fast as I was before. Maybe it's like a... We got new neighbors. They pulled up in a Mercedes Benz Sprinter, the 4x4 conversion, and it looks sick. Look at that van. Sick. That van is sick. Maybe Nico can ask them for like a tour. It would be cool to do a few like van tours on this channel. Let me know what you guys think about that. Maybe like, cause you know, you meet people in the campgrounds. When you're on the road, you lose track of all the days and the time. We have no routine, so we wake up whenever we want. I mean, I've kind of always w woken up whenever I wanted because I worked at night, but it's just easy to lose track of time. And so I didn't realize that I was gonna be turning 28 in like three days, which is crazy. And then right after my birthday is Nico's birthday, a week for mine. And yeah, it's just been crazy. It's probably my first birthday away from my family. So I don't know. We're pretty close to Casablanca. We haven't checked it out yet, so we're probably gonna head there sometime in the next few days. Who knows, maybe we'll break it in for my birthday. You know, we kind of just been hanging out at the campground. We did laundry today, and it's just been nice to be here, honestly. It's been really hot, but not like humid hot. It's like good hot. Been loving the weather here in Morocco. We love it now. It definitely grew on us by the second day when we met Saeed in Rabat and he showed us so much. Shout out to Saeed for that warm welcome. Oh, this chicken. Okay, the chicken. The chicken just comes and eats all the cat food. Every day it wants to wake us up. Oh, there you go. His friend just is calling him. Look at that. Nosy. Looking for the next thing he can eat. Just outside of our campground, there is a cafe that overlooks the beach. Nothing fancy, really simple, but we love it. We love the location of this campground, it's awesome. It's honestly, we feel really safe walking at night. It's just been really nice being Nobody's here. It's really passive. You, yeah, no one's like harassing you. So like no one's home. bothering you, people are kind. It's nice here. We're gonna go to one of the food carts. Do you have money? Sugar? Yeah. Number? Uh, one? One. Really, really expensive. Look, we put like all these things, like granite, the like, coffee in front of my like. Chakran. 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 I had fast food and he didn't want anything so perfectly round burger incredible wife material here you go he's wife material my friends happy birthday <laughs> to you happy birthday to Thanks, you babe. Thanks. Happy birthday, Nibesui. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And now you have to wish something. Um, okay. Good! Woo! <laughs> so sweet. It's my 28th birthday. It's crazy to think that I'm going to be 30 in two years, but this is actually the first birthday that Nico and I have actually spent together, so it's special. And we're going to be going to Casablanca today. Can't start the morning off without feeding our little animals that we've become friends with while we've been at this campground. The kitties. Hi, my sweet babies. Good morning. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
We're gonna go take a little walk and give away some of the cake because it's only two of us and we have entirely too much cake. We're walking over to the coffee stand that we normally go to get coffee because they know us now and they're really, really friendly. Ciao. sitting here reflecting on turning 28 and having seen 24 countries and five different continents in just 28 years it's an opportunity a lot of people don't get and I just feel really really blessed to be here and to be able to enjoy this and indulge in this beautiful life it has been magical you know how on Facebook you get those like one-year reminders the throwbacks the status throwbacks I actually saw one pop up from the other day it was like a 2019 um, reminder and it was just like, I'm really grateful for my life. It's just been a spiral, an upward spiral. So I have so much to be grateful for. Honestly, Morocco so far has been a dream. The people have been so nice and so amazing. Check out Morocco if you have the opportunity to and, and travel and live your life and be happy and be free. And do whatever makes you happy because honestly, that's all I've been doing for the last few years. And I have no regrets. I'm honestly so grateful. Oh, we just decided to come take a stroll this morning. I left my phone at home. We spend so much time on like social media and stuff that leaving my phone at home is just like much needed. It's just nice. Last night, I spent the last few hours of being 27 by feeding all the stray dogs and cats. There's so many of them in Morocco. I'm an animal lover. I actually have a dog, my mom's dog at home that I left back in New York and I miss her so much and seeing all these stray animals, it really gets to me. So Nico and I went to go buy dog and cat food and we walked around the streets of Mohammedia and we fed all the cats and the dogs and it was really a magical thing. We have a little bit of leftovers from last night and we're gonna go feed this dog that seemed to be in pretty bad shape when we saw him yesterday. So we're gonna go check up on him this morning and then we're gonna head back to the campground, get ready and head to Casablanca for maybe dinner in the city. This man is making his meal. Ta tajine. Oui. Ah. Oui. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. This is nice. <laughs> He's the parking guard. Oh. We're walking out and he's cooking his meal like that. It's such a culture clash to see like someone prepare. I mean, we have barbecues and stuff back home, but this is pretty awesome. So there are so many more dogs than we saw last night. I mean, we have to go get ready now, but later we definitely have to come back here. I mean, this dog lives in a landfill. We put some cat food there last night. That was really nice. And then there's dogs there, but this one just doesn't seem to leave this area. And he doesn't have friends. Like they all move in packs. But not this one, it's like the saddest thing. Oh, this is a mama. She just had kids. From Mohammedia, so we're gonna go into the restaurant now. This is like the best rated restaurant on this side of Casablanca, so fancy on the outside. Got beef. Cooking appetites, my love. 